What's up guys, Rob from the Japanese Gaming here, bringing you another episode of L.A. Noir. Last episode we investigated the crime scene for the beginning of the uh, vice desk, and I may or may not have ran over a barricade and contaminated the crime scene horribly. So in this episode we're going to the Black Caesar. Alright, Roy, jeez. Get that son of a bitch. We're gonna get him. You can run, but you can't hide. Come on, Phelps. All your jungle gym training. I don't think I can pull my gun out. Whoa. We're gaining on him. All right, maybe not. Phelps, are you really getting outrun by a fry cook right now? You were in the military and you're a cop. You really need to work on your cardio, my dude. That sound. What the hell going on here, Morgan? That you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animal. You're done, son. You're done, son. You're done. Why was he not looking at him? Fleetwood Mac? No? Just Fleetwood Morgan? Alright. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Can I take some ooh burgers and eggs and stuff? Hell yeah. Not everything here is These eggs are very relevant, Phelps. Yes, it is. It's always something. Oh, cool. Look at that. Found it. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Got anything in his briefcase here? Oh, there's something. Oh, what? Lottery tickets. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Numbers racket, huh? This guy's into some crime and punishment here. Well, maybe not. He's not into punishment, but. Be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Is he hiding morphine in his trumpet or something? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Is there something else to look at in here? Oh, there we go. Jermaine Jones, booking agent. I agree, friend. Screw your trash can, buddy. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best. Yeah, after you clotheslined my ass. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamar. No, I sell I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. Um, we 
could call him out. Like, yeah, let's call him out on the lie, I guess. Because we have popcorn cups with morphine as uh, the in. At, or, the, or the morphine for distribution. Let's call him out with the popcorn cups for morphine. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supply it. I don't know nothing about no drug. All I do is my ten hair flipping birds. Do you prove any different? Yeah, there's popcorn cups with morphine attached to them. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? A cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. I right, brings his stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small-time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. Ah. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on pork folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? Well, we don't really have any evidence to call him out. I mean, we have... present him with the tickets, but I'm not sure if that would... Let's just doubt. We have an address on the slips. We're gonna go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. He's a, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Murray. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, please. Uh. You're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Damn. Did him dirty, bro. Did him dirty. Trace Jermaine Jones's address. All right, so we'll go to a payphone here. Operator, give me R and I. How can I help, Detective? Putting you through now. Phelps, that's twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Don't need I need this. an address on the Jermaine. I'm, in, I'm making a phone call, dude. Let's go see the numbers operation before we go talk to Jermaine Jones. Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense because Jones works for Lottie or the Merlin guy, so let's go see Jermaine Jones first. Whoa. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl. Good lord. I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Don't call me out, Roy. I was Hopgood. Who? Marlon Hopgood. Your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Uh. Marlon. Uh. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, boy. As long as Hollywood Ooh. exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girl. Marlon was small time. He caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. It's the next left. Alright, let's take this left here. Don't call me out on my German girlfriend, although I have a wife and kids and probably shouldn't be engaged with her, but you don't call me out on that, bro. Take the next left. All right. <laughs> I have my siren on. I'm trying not to use it too much because I know it's an annoying for the recording, but somebody got into an exit behind me. Straight over. Not my problem. I got things to do. You need 
need to take the next right. I got important police work to do. Cole Phelps badge, get the hell out of my way. Go straight at the next intersection. Keep going for a little bit here. Take the next oh, left whoops. turn. Alright, yeah, so we'll take the next left up here. That should be able to help us uh, get where we gotta go here. I was driving all over town, Jesus. Whoops. Oh, it's in the next street over, okay. So we need to very carefully You people need to get out of my way. As I destroy my partner's car, he's probably really pissed off at me now. But, you know what? It's a simpler time. It's in the 1940s. I'm sure we can buff that out with some... I don't know, a sponge. I don't really know what you would buff things out with in the 1940s, but. Premiere tonight, Odd Man Out, continuous daily from 2 p.m., see? Nah, see? Cole Phelps, nah. I don't know, but he doesn't talk like that. Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna go in here and investigate what's going on with these numbers and see what the deal is here. Before we go talk to Merlin. The wizard. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this No, you'd probably be right about that. It kinda seems like the place uh maybe like a casting couch would be. Here we are. Two thirty eight. Alright. Two thirty nine. Two thirty eight. What up? Hey. Who let Me. You Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you can tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find? I was joking about the whole, yeah, but like he's actually kind of talking like that. Scott Phantom. Fine radio. Shortwave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. What was the radio station? 275 FM. Uh, uh, now we need to go to 275. 275. 60, I'm guessing 240, 245, 250, 255, 265, 270, 275. There we go. Whoa, dude. Got a stash, my guy. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled to me. Brennan, Wilt, get over here. Really? You're done, kiddo. Hey, Cole. Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole. Uh. You better search for that stuff in the radio before you break our friends here. We might get in trouble for this. We don't have a warrant. Ramen's removal. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. 
awesome. Mary Jane. Too much for a felon in possession. I don't think he intends to supply. Mary Jane, huh? Another uh, morphine needle here. This must be how those two bomb standing guard take their wages. Another ticket. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man. Is that a rack? My man's sewing racks out here? How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean fifties? Whoops, sorry. Is there anything else I need to take a look at around here? Hello, friends. Sorry I had to kick your ass, but... Yeah. Big dead. Big dead. Yikes. I'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the change in this. I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? I'm not looking for money, buddy. Who supplies the money? I don't know nothing about Well, we know that's BS because he said that Merlin, or, uh, what, he identified him as the distributor, but doesn't he say that, didn't he work, say that he worked for somebody? I thought he said that he worked for somebody. I guess we can call him on a doubt, but I guess we don't have the lie. I thought that the other guy said that he works for somebody named Marlin, but So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy for Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any two boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny the Lenny Fink? Who? What? Lenny Finkelstein. Mickey's dipshit brother in law. Yikes. Where's the link between the morphine and the number slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time. Um. Well. We found this with the other guy. I guess we could try to call him on a lie with that, but. Yeah, let's call him on a lie because we found that one with the uh the dead guy. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Huh, let's give it a shot. I don't know if this is right. Unless you cut me a deal over the hop. I can't. Alright, that was wrong. What's the score with Rama's removal? I brought a radio. Well, we don't have anything to call him on a lie on, so I guess we can just hit him with a doubt. So when we visit Rama's removals, we tell them that we want special foot kinks and wardrobe to hide our dope in. We're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. This fucks Abbott and Costello on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply young funny white bread humps. White bread, huh? Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. Getting the fiction? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morning. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. 
I mean, yeah, we just want the dope off the streets. Oh, the trolley. All right. So we need to go to this other place. You can drive. Where are we going? I guess we should have gone here first. But I'll have my partner drive there. I thought we would go see Jermaine first because the other guy said that Jermaine works for Merlin, but. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army surplus war fee, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants return customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question. That guy stopped on a dime. Oh my god. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. I'm just full of good questions. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happened. We need to follow the evidence. Well, we're trying. We're doing our best. Okay. Don't be mean. Ah, another loading screen. The true power of the Xbox 360 loading screens. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No parking. Well, good thing we didn't park, we just came here. Alright. There's a phone over here. Do we need this phone? Let's go see if we can use the telephone for anything. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Yeah, you bet so. You better. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? I need an address for Ramez removal. That's Ramez. R A. Ah, sweet. We got an address. We got that Addy. Uh, but I think I'm going to cut the episode here since we're getting up to 23 and a half minutes or so. So thank you guys for watching. Next time we will go in and see what's going on with this numbers racketeering. Join us then, won't you?